So I have pets in the reverse, getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. Someone could have lost a pet <clears throat> or got rid of a pet. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water sign could be significant. Uh, the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. So somebody could have been ignoring some red flags. Spy. Someone's got their eye on you. You're doing your research. So someone could be spying on you or watching you. Or there could be a water sign who's watching and spying on you. Give it time. Everything is in divine timing. Let things flow. And health issues could arise. So someone may have gotten a pet and then had to turn around and get rid of it. It could be a water sign. Someone didn't listen to their intuition. Someone is getting some rest or needs to take some time to rest. Someone could be taking a restful period after dealing with somebody else. Um, there could have been an issue of feeling lonely or needing something, like some sort of companionship. So somebody could have gotten a pet for a companion and then ended up getting rid of it. Uh, rebirth, transformation. Someone is resting while going through a transformation. There's a big change that's going to come for somebody. Someone could be investigating or spying on you. It could be this water sign. You could be the water sign that's getting spied on. Someone could be looking into something. There's a lack of trust. There's someone here who doesn't trust another person. Um, or they're not trusting in their intuition or trusting the process. Someone is lacking um, confidence as well. I know that didn't come out yet, but I feel like there's someone who lacks confidence within themselves. And they're not trusting in their, in a, their abilities or intuition out of fear. Someone is scared, maybe, that you don't trust them. Or someone didn't trust themselves and they're scared because of whatever action they took. They could have been guided not to do something and they did it anyway. Death. Someone's scared of death. Oh, so someone could be scared of the karma that they're going to reap. You know, health issues could arise. Someone could be in bad health. They could be scared of dying. Someone could be scared. Um, you know, they it could be due to some sort of genetic health issue. Someone could be older in age. Uh, but this is someone you don't trust or that doesn't trust within themselves or they should have trusted you or believed in you. And this person is in fear. They're scared of dying. Someone is scared of death. Someone is afraid of an ending. If it's not a literal death, someone is afraid of an ending to something. I can't force you to be right. Someone could be narcissistic. Someone is very arrogant. Um, they always like to be right. Or it could be you. Someone's very stubborn and hard-headed here. <clears throat> Inside, near in the reverse, and young once, immature always. So... Something is an inside job. I'm getting like an inside job. Someone that you know, someone that's close to you, they're scared because of something they did. They could be at a distance from you and they were acting immature, being immature. They were kind of like staying, keeping their distance away. They could have had somebody else helping them do something to you so it couldn't be traced back to them. Somebody was acting very childish and very arrogant and I'm just getting a heavy energy of narcissist. Out of there, so I'm gonna jump to Garfield. So somebody got booted, someone got kicked to the curb here, and someone was unbothered. I've got work on my face, so somebody was unbothered, or somebody could have lost their job regarding work, and they didn't think it was a big deal, or you didn't think it was a big deal, but someone could blame you for losing their job because of their childish behavior. So someone could be losing a job and they blame you for it and they're acting very childish and immature. They wanted to hurt you for some reason. There's some sort of um, spiteful, vengeful act that this person did. They could be scared that they're gonna lose their job if it's not a physical ending. 
someone could be um, feeling sick or having health issues arise due to stress because they're scared of what's going to happen because of what they did regarding work because whatever they did something was really disgusting someone had their hand out they were expecting a payday or a payoff someone was expecting something and they abused their power in a position of authority this person may have tried to cause health issues for you or you may have suffered some sort of health issues because of whatever this person did because whatever they did it was very disgusting <clears throat> someone is disgusted by this person's behavior yeah you could be kicking someone else to the curb like you could be unbothered have a nice day you're like okay whatever just get the fuck away from me <laughs> like, maybe you're gonna have a good day no matter what Someone could be getting ghosted. This could be at a job. Like, someone literally could be losing their job or lost their job. Keep your attitude. I have my own. Someone wanted to act childish. They had an attitude. They had their hand out. You didn't give them what they wanted. They could have tried to, like, use extortion or tried to force you or blackmail you into giving them some sort of money. Or they did this to somebody else. And um, they got an attitude about it. And they were acting very childish. They could have possibly wanted you to get kicked out of a home or a job. Maybe they wanted you to lose your job or home or your stability. This person's very arrogant. this was about what is going on? so there's a moment of reflection about someone who may sleep with a lot of people someone may be in their ho or player energy but there's a reflection or a pause in something maybe somebody put their player ways on hold for a while or their ho ways that someone could have said this about you Maybe that you do things for money. <clears throat> someone's going to be packing up and moving. Or going through. Someone's trying to go through someone's stuff. There could be an investigation of someone going through your stuff. Coming through your stuff. Financial records could be significant. Someone is reflecting about um, some sort of bed situation. Like sleeping with a lot of people. Someone could have said you were a prostitute. So there could be an investigation or something going on within that someone's looking into the, the details about this because someone accused another person of sleeping with a lot of people and possibly for money there's someone here who's going through somebody's things spying watching something may not be adding up in this situation so if somebody said something about you and there's someone who's looking into things something is not adding up or making sense there's a masculine energy here that's working with a group of people to get something, to accomplish something. There was a reflection. Someone reflected about something that a masculine did. They partnered up with someone to make a deal. And this has to do with a group of people. So there's a group of people um, that could be getting investigated or something is being looked into because there's a partnership between a man and a group of people here that went into a partnership, made some sort of deal to do something. And now someone is juggling. So now there's a masculine here and a group of people here that are juggling and scrambling, trying to put something together. And they have a lot of balls in the air. They're, they're juggling a lot of things. And they want money for it. Somebody wants you to give them some money. And a, an empress. A mother figure you could be juggling a lot of things as well because of this partnership or whatever this situation is between this masculine and this group of people you could be dealing with a lot of things on your own plus taking care of your child you could be pregnant or you could be expecting something to work in your favor you could be giving birth to something new a new idea a new philosophy a new belief system Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> so there was a feminine here that was trying to open a door to possibly escape or get out of something get away from everybody there's an older married couple here that are chilling and relaxing they wanted to hurt you there's a there's a feminine energy here that was acting very childish and they wanted you left out in the cold out in the wilderness so they wanted you kicked out they wanted you to be left out on the streets they could have also maybe wanted to take your child away from you or get your children taken from you and left out on the streets homeless with nowhere to go Something is dead, though. Something is dying. Death could be near. This came out sideways. Someone could be getting ready to pass. Someone could be in bad health. Someone could be expecting to die. Or something is ending because you're going to receive some sort of unexpected help. <clears throat> A friend. Somebody may want to be your friend or help you out. Or someone has been helping out you out or they're going to. To help put an end to this situation. You know, someone's sitting back and waiting on something. Someone could be expecting something. It could be you. You could be expecting some sort of help or a miracle. You know, a Hail Mary. An ending. You're looking for a way out. And there's a lot of talk and gossip about how you're going to find your way out of this situation. You're juggling a lot. And these people were putting barriers in your path. And they're sitting around talking and trying to figure out how you're going to end up getting out of this. It's like they think this is funny. They think this is a joke. Like it's a game. Um, especially if you're a spiritual person and you have some sort of spiritual gifts or something. They want you to get out of something. And they, they it's like they're... It, your life is like a fucking TV show to these sick ass people. Like, they're sitting back and watching, like, the fucking Hunger Games, like, seeing how you're going to get out of this, how you're going to make it out, are you going to make it out alive, how, 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 like, I hear a lot of questions, how are they going to do this, let's see how they do this, let's see how they pull this off, but there's people talking, spying, reporting back, they could even be making bets or gambling about how you're going to get out of this, like, I'm seeing, like, one of those boards, and then there's a mother figure here again. A scared couple. There's the shady ass couple who was scared of something about how you're going to figure out how to get out of this. Someone could have been placing bets on who's going to win. You could be trying to protect your child, get your child, keep your child, keep your family safe. There could be a lot of talk about how you're able to protect yourself or your children. There was a masculine here who was confused because something was just for show. And there's another masculine energy here in the reverse. So someone is putting putting on a show, trying to take you for a ride regarding some sort of help. They want you to think you're not going to get any help. Or it's like they want to give you just enough hope that you're going to receive help. Like um, dangling the carrot in front of a rabbit or something. Or like a bone in front of a dog. It's like they want to tease you and make you think that there's hope and then take it away from you. <clears throat> but there was something shocking like there's a tower moment coming for a masculine energy they're confused as to why you didn't take the bait or how you didn't take the bait on something they wanted you to take the bait they were watching throwing curveballs at you there's someone here who's going to be pissed off because they brought a tower moment upon themselves there's someone here who's not happy that you didn't take the bait or that someone is going to help you Or something is not going to work out the way they thought it was. Like, they could be expecting someone to help them out. And they're going to be pissed off to find out they're not getting help. <clears throat> We're getting running. Someone could be running from the police. So someone's going to be pissed and running. They're trying to run from their karma. The karmic debt that they've racked up. Because carried by six or judged by twelve. Someone could be ending up going to jail or getting arrested for what they did. But something is coming to an end. Whether this is a physical ending or... You know, <clears throat> just the end of a situation, but someone's pissed and running.
Fear is what it's all about. You cannot sell while undergoing fear. You need to vanquish fear. One must wrestle it to the ground. So someone's in fear. <clears throat> and someone isn't. Maybe they wanted you to be scared. They're trying to invoke some sort of fear on you. They want you to be scared. Like I said, you didn't fall for some sort of trap. You didn't take the bait. Someone wanted you to take the bait. I don't know. You were being baited. Or provoked in some sort of way. Did I truck 300 bales of hay in a parking lot to rectify some childhood disappointment? Yes. So this is someone who didn't heal from the childhood wounds. They could have been trying to use your childhood wounds against you to invoke some sort of fear. Or keep you from being able to think straight. Your crown chakra could be significant. R is amongst the most menacing sounds. That's why they call it murder and not muck deck. So someone wanted you to be scared and in fear that someone was trying to off you, unalive you. <clears throat> or someone is scared that they're going to face those consequences for what they did. Someone could be afraid of some sort of backlash within this group that they're connected to. They could be afraid if they don't take you out that they themselves are going to be taken out because you were not supposed to find your way out of this situation. There's a reason they wanted you to be juggling. You were not meant to survive or they didn't want you to. But someone wants you to also be afraid for your life. An important thing to remember, Jim, is we always have what is called the element of surprise. Someone could be trying to sneak up on you to unalive you. Be careful around these moon cycles. <clears throat> People do a lot of shady ass shit during moon cycles. Um, especially like with the new moons, the full moons and shit like that. Just be careful about that. Someone is trying to surprise you by keeping you in fear. So you, maybe you don't see the fact that they're going to try to sneak up on you and try to unalive you. Or maybe they're trying to keep you in survival mode, like fight or flight mode. They want to keep you from being able to be balanced and thinking clearly. They're trying to, to get you ungrounded, to unground you shake you up so you're not seeing clearly especially if you get spiritual downloads and they, they're trying to block it off <clears throat> that is the way to go instant death very smart someone wanted a female here to go instantly or there's a female here that's going to be passing away something is going to happen quickly and instantly and since the childhood trauma thing came out someone could have wanted you to go instantly like unalive yourself but i also feel like there's a feminine here who didn't heal themselves that could be um passing away unexpectedly because that's what they wanted for you this chaos magic has been sent back to somebody death magic death spells someone wanted you dead collective man or woman someone wanted you dead nothing stresses me out except having to seek the approval of my inferiors and i would never ever serve you not in a million billion years Someone wants you gone because they can't stand you. It's like they're really... Like, you refuse to give in to their blackmail. So it's like they have their hand out. They were expecting something like you to give them money, pay off. You didn't fall for it. You didn't take the bait. You saw them for what they were scamming ass lying pieces of shit, right? This group of people who's connected to a masculine, which if you're a feminine, it could be your ex that's connected to this group of people. They could be a legit psychopath. I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose anyone. But there's someone here who has extreme narcissism and possibly psychopathic tendencies. <clears throat> However, someone refuses to bow down. <clears throat> and it could be you who's refusing to bow down to them. And they cannot stand this. They want you gone because they can't stand you. I know everything about film. I've seen over 240 of them. So someone thought they knew you, knew enough about you to trigger you, to hurt you, to cause... Um, reopening of those childhood wounds. It could also be this immature female energy and immature feminine um, <clears throat> that thought they knew everything and they didn't know shit. <clears throat> and then we have that Empress energy, feminine energy that came out sideways. That could be you. Oh, what's that on your face? A disguised clown paint. Someone's going to get left looking like a clown. You're making somebody look stupid. You're making them look foolish. They don't like that at all. Someone's making an ass out of themselves. 
the worst thing you can do for your immune system is to coddle it. We need to, they need to fight their own battles. This is like hierophant energy. There could be, the, and this could be the masculine. I mean, it could be the feminine too, if there's a feminine here in the reverse. Someone here is um, in bad health. Someone's immune system could be attacking itself, and I get that it could be a masculine, like a hierophant, like unofficial person in the reverse. Maybe they wanted you to be in bad health. Somebody wanted you to not be alive. And they thought that they could catch you off guard or surprise you, but they may have gotten some shocking news that um, they're in bad health or that they're going to pass away. Um... Mm. A mother figure could find out she has cancer, and it's like a, a younger feminine. Um, not like real young, but um, maybe 30s, 40s, or 50s. I'm fast to give you a reference point. I'm somewhere between a snake and a mongoose and a panther. So someone did something really quickly, and they could have involved the legal system, a lawyer, the justice system. So somebody did something really quickly here to cause an ending for you. And they could be in bad health about this, or they wanted you to be sick to their stomach, to your stomach about it. Like they wanted you to be stressed out about it. But I feel like they're the ones that are sick and stressed out because if you show up to court with your receipts and your evidence, they're going to look like a fool. And what they did was illegal and they could be going to jail, getting arrested. Someone was keeping a secret that they rushed in with some bullshit lies. Knight of Swords. Someone rushed in quickly with some sort of lies. They were dishonest. They could have convinced a whole a group of people to do something to you. Because of lies. An Emperor here. So someone was keeping a secret and lying to an Emperor. This was an Emperor that did this. Here we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So there's a cold-hearted ass Biatch who rushed in with lies and they were keeping something hidden from an emperor. So there's a feminine energy here that was lying to a man, a masculine. She lied to him about you being a prostitute. And she tried to cause heavy burdens about it. Queen of Swords lied to a man and said that you were selling your body for money and that's how you have money. <clears throat> Something is over. Ten of Swords. There's a permanent ending. This Queen of Swords could have wanted a permanent ending for you. This could also be a permanent ending to this person because of the lies they told Mm, I just heard this masculine could snap and cause harm to this person. Yeah, there's a betrayal. Someone here, this Queen of Swords took some swift action to cause a betrayal. And they lied to do it. And this masculine could be really pissed off when they find out about it. Especially if this masculine had some sort of feelings towards the Divine Femme. <clears throat> there was a heartbreaking imbalance. So there was something heartbreaking an imbalance, and a very emotional situation because of these lies that were told because someone traveled towards somebody else to give them some love. So this female energy lied to this masculine and they ended up going towards somebody else and offering them love instead of the person that they really wanted to go towards because they believe some sort of lies. Yeah, but someone can't stop thinking about you. This masculine can't stop thinking about this breakup, this two of cups in the reverse. He still thinks about you all the time. And the heartbreak that he caused. He's trying to manifest you. There's a crossroads. There's a decision. You could have divine protection. You could have ancestors watching over you. You know, you have to have blind faith or there's something you're blindly following or you're being spiritually guided. 
but you're at a crossroads, you're at a decision when it comes to this risky commitment. Somebody wants you to choose them. <clears throat> and these all came out sideways. Ace of Swords, someone is getting enlightened, awakened to the truth. They're finding out, and something is about to be put to a stop, and this is going to result in a positive outcome. So this masculine is going to find out what the hell this female has been up to, what she's been doing to the Divine Femme, and you're going to have a decision on what, what to do regarding this risky commitment. Because someone has some sort of addiction or obsession. It could be an addiction or obsession with you. A clean slate. Someone's addicted to having a clean slate with you. And this person doesn't want to give up. This masculine is addicted and obsessed with you. <clears throat> but they could also have those narcissistic tendencies. But there's a masculine here who's getting oh, uh, the missing piece of the puzzle. They're, they're getting woke. They're figuring shit out. They're being enlightened. There's a masculine here who is being enlightened. And they're obsessed with having this clean slate, this new start with you. But there's no guarantee on how this is going to turn out. And other people, this decision, this relationship may not sit well with other people. But this person is determined to make something happen. At, like Almost like if you want it to or not. The cycle has ended, or it needed to end, or it needs to end the world in the reverse. So this person wants to have a clean slate, but there's something that needs to be closed out, or it was closed out with this person. There's someone here who has divine protection and has options, and that's a problem. And the pro... I don't like this. <clears throat> the problem is, is this masculine could have been trying to force you to have a new beginning with them, but they caused such heartbreak to you in the past that you wouldn't just willingly go towards them, so they've been trying to kind of force your hand into this. That could have been why a cycle was closed out. Uh, but this person has some sort of an obsession with you, and they can't stop thinking about you and having a beginning with you. And then we have the Queen of Swords that came out sideways. <clears throat> Maybe they need to close out a cycle with the Queen of Swords. There's a transformation coming. Someone was standing in the way, or there was something that was stopping this person. And it could be this Queen of Swords that's standing in the way of this transformation that this masculine wants to have with you. Ooh, and the only way to... Ooh, I just heard I, oh, something about getting rid of her. That was. I heard I'll have. I guess I'll have to get rid of her then. Mm -mm -mm. So there's a transformation coming <clears throat> for a high priestess. Someone couldn't rest. Someone couldn't relax due to some sort of barriers, and they they could couldn't figure out why. Page of Swords. Maybe they're trying to figure out why someone lied to them. Why this female lied. Why they tried to keep them from finding out the truth. Because someone wants to come towards you. And this Queen of Swords bitch was like celebrating when she thought that this person was not going to come towards you. But this person can't stop thinking about you. And some sort of financial balance needs to be restored. Or something needs to be balanced back out. This person can't stop thinking about how to balance something back out with you. <clears throat> so they may want to give you some sort of gift. Or maybe they owed you money or something. There's something out of balance here. And um, this person can't stop thinking about, you know, if there's something significant that has affected your finances that's keeping you stuck and stagnant. And somebody lied about you to this person. And they're, they can't understand why. Like, they can't rest. They were trying to figure it out as to why this person lied to them in the first place. And why they tried to stop them from helping you or coming towards you. person was very cold-hearted this ice queen this queen of swords very heartless so there's the queen of wands and the knight of swords so there's someone here who's rushing in or to speak the truth or someone wants to rush in and speak the truth to this queen of wands what's going on with this 
some sort of truth that someone is quickly going to find out about this Queen of Wands. <clears throat> or that the Queen of Wands is going to find out about communication. Someone's rushing in with some communication to speak some sort of truth. Or they're finding out the truth about some sort of communication. <clears throat> because something wasn't growing. Something was not abundant. Someone was trying to stop someone from being abundant or being able to grow, manifest. There could be a reason to celebrate. Queen of Cups. Someone didn't get the offer they've been waiting for because they were guilty. So someone didn't get what they expected to get. Something was not growing. Something was not abundant. And that is the person, I'm guessing like it's the Queen of Swords energy, or it could be a masculine, but someone someone had their hand out waiting for something, expecting something. Um, this could be a feminine in a position of authority, a business owner, you know, natural born leader, someone who's going to be caring and compassionate. Um, the Queen of Swords could be um, rushing in to make some sort of happy communication, give some sort of communication to the Queen of Cups who's, that's going to make them happy. Maybe it's a job offer or someone that wants to work with them and help them out in some sort of way. That could be where the unexpected help is going to come in. <clears throat> so it could be an, a female who wants to help this Divine Femme. There's a decision that needs to be made because something wasn't moving. Something was stuck and stagnant because there's an Empress here that was trying to stop someone from getting the offer that they needed or that they were waiting for by keeping them bound and trapped and stuck. They were trying to keep a divine femme stuck mentally, physically, emotionally. They didn't want this person to move forward. And they sure as hell didn't want this masculine to go towards this feminine house. You have a decision. There's, there's a house, a queen of pentacles here. You could be getting some sort of wealth to get a house. This could be somebody who's going to work with you or help you get a house or a home. There's a situation regarding someone in a business or owns a business. They could own a house. You're at a crossroads about what to do about this person, possibly, or to work with them. Could have been a Queen of Pentacles that were, was expecting to get some sort of money for a house. Someone is traveling towards someone with an offer. There was a heartbreaking situation where someone got left out in the cold because they were a thief. They were stealing something, spying, stealing. So someone went investigating, spying, and found out that someone was a thief. So they left someone out in the cold because they were intentionally causing a heartbreaking situation. And now someone wants to come towards somebody, um, you know, with that Knight of Cups with some sort of communication. So someone wants to communicate how they feel about a divine thumb. After finding out the truth, but someone else had to get left out in the cold because someone was a thief. An empress and the reverse. So somebody was spying. There's a feminine energy here that was spying on a person. It could have been someone that this masculine was in a relationship with, attached to, a friend, colleague, whatever. But somebody was a thief. They were an unofficial person. And death. So somebody was not an official person. They were a false, fake person, spreading fake news, death, something is over, three of pentacles, to the gossip, the slander that they were doing with this emperor. So there was some sort of partnership between this emperor and empress, and someone was not an official person. They could have gotten the authorities involved, so someone tried to cause an ending, possibly using the legal system, and they thought they were going to get some sort of recognition or reward. But we have this King of Wands here who wants to go towards this Queen of Wands. So this could be a divine match. <clears throat> there's some injury. So there's some sort of pain maybe that this person has caused or that they have suffered themselves. Something is going to be painful because of the betrayals. And it, it could be this King of Wands who's suffering and in pain and can't rest after finding out what was done to his Divine Femme, his Divine Counterpart, or who he wants to be his Divine Counterpart. Yeah, because there was a karmic situation, a past lover, who wanted to betray you, wanted to hurt you. And they used another feminine to do this, and, uh, you know, a few of their buddies. They got together and they were trying to hurt you. The Queen of Cups. This masculine sees love. It could also be that this masculine is 
hurt by an emotionally manipulative female and there was not a positive outcome because this person rushed in with some sort of lies and king of cups so there's a married couple here <clears throat> there's a king of wands that's hurt by this married couple and this masculine wants to be your person So the person that wants to be with you knows these these people, this couple that hurt you, tried to hurt you, tried to betray you, possibly tried to unalive you. And they were connected to your ex. So I don't know if it's your ex that wants to come back to you and help, you know, clean all this up and bring balance back. Or if this is someone that just knows all the people that's involved in this. a happy positive outcome somebody sees a, a positive outcome or they're hoping for it manifesting it something shocking that someone found out this could be the somebody was shocked to find out that this person wants to be your ten of cups and someone was like oh hell no we cannot let this happen or it could be the person that wants to be your ten of cups that found out the shocking news about what was being done to you by these people like the links that they went to Feminine energy, yeah, someone was shocked about what a flying monkey was doing, and someone here wants to be loyal to you. This is going to bring a transformation. You could have a couple people that wants to be loyal to you. Someone was a flying monkey. Um, they worked with a third party. They hooked up, partnered up with other people to stop you from getting your desires, your wish fulfillment. This is a divine counterpart. There's something significant about a divine union, a divine partnership that's going to bring luck here. This is a lucky union. It's going to bring luck. And these people that work together to try to stop a divine femme from getting their wish fulfillments, experiencing some bad luck, <clears throat> or they're going to, for trying to stop this, um, they're going to regret what they did. Huh. They're going to regret the day they ever laid eyes on my woman, something like that. And there's a man who's really, really pissed off. So you could be at a crossroads because you have a choice to make, possibly between two masculines. could be someone from the past showing up and someone new. Um, or it's going to be a union where you're both going to be loyal to each other. But there were some messages. There was some sort of communications about someone's luck. They're not going to have some sort of luck or success with whatever it is that they were trying to do to you or whatever communication this was or information that someone received about what they were doing this is going to bring uh, some bad luck in a tower moment for them someone's in despair that could have even been them getting um that health report back or finding out they're going to pass away or someone's going to be finding out that someone's going to pass away or did pass away And it could be an actual death that's going to occur that's just going to turn everything upside down. Because someone was trying to sabotage. These people were trying to sabotage you so that you couldn't find a way out, so you couldn't escape, so you couldn't leave, so you wouldn't have money, so you wouldn't have a home, so you wouldn't be alive. I mean, this is some crazy-ass shit. And someone's desperate. Because they caught an incurable STD, so they were acting childish. Something is only a matter of days. They were hiding their true personality. They said they were single to get you. They weren't. Someone's busy multitasking. So 
Someone's doing too much. Somehow you missed the trap. They thought you were weak. They thought you were an easy target. Maybe because they thought you were lonely and they were being spiteful. Maybe you left someone out in the cold and they were being spiteful, you know. Um, life is a struggle for this group. It's going to be. It's going to be. And someone suffered from some sort of sex addiction and they feel like you're ignoring them. They feel like they're being forgotten. Someone snapped off because find someone to love you. I don't. Someone feels embarrassed or ashamed, a dark witch or warlock because they got ghosted. These thieves. Use your intuition. Something significant is going to be happening in the next one to three months. They're trying to cover up their illegal activities and they're going to get busted. Yeah, there's people here that just wanted to be a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. They just wanted to cause problems. Yeah, someone burnt their bridges, and it could be even within the law. The law is getting involved, so because someone was being a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt, <clears throat> the law could be involved. And if this is part of some sort of group, group, organization, secret society, cult shit, someone could have burnt their bridges within a cult or group um, because the law got involved. Someone's going to have to eat their words because the law is involved. So whatever this person did or said about you, they're going to end up heartbroken, eat, you know, bleeding heart. Someone's about to have a bleeding heart. And then QRS or T was on the other side of that that kind of flipped over. So QRS or T is going to have to eat their words and they're going to have a bleeding heart and they're going to regret what they did to MNO or P during the summer. That could be significant. So QRS or T could have done something to MNO or P or vice versa. One's blank. Anything else? Yeah, someone's not going forward. <clears throat> someone's not moving on to calmer waters. They thought something would be like stealing candy from a baby and there's court coming up. It's only a matter of time because you are sincere and you didn't do anything wrong. And there's a there's a group here that is going to be divided and conquered. Um, be careful. Look before you leap. Proceed with caution. These people needed to proceed with caution. Um, there's a split conflict within the group because you're coming out of the woods. But there's also a long lost love that wants a clean slate with you. And this person is as ugly as sin. A Gemini could be significant. Okay, so be careful. There is someone from the past that's going to show up. That wants a clean slate. You're going to have victory. That came out sideways. So in the near future, there's victory here for someone who's in the upright. Someone's going to be pissed off about it because you you took your control back. Take the tiger by its tail. Someone's pissed that you're in control of yourself because they judged a book by its cover and something is too hard. It, a tough row to hoe. They were trying to get you to lose your temper, lose their head. Or they lost their head or lost their temper because they want you under the same roof as them. Someone wants you under the same roof as them so they can hurt you or something. I don't know. There's, there's something here who's really dark. Someone that you lived under the same roof as is, could be scared stiff because they didn't want to learn their lessons and you're going to get a happily ever after. And they didn't get whatever recognition they thought they were going to get. Like they didn't get their 15 minutes of fame because they're coward, they're weak, they're easily tempted by the low-hanging fruit with an Aquarius and now something is as dead as a doornail. Someone's going to be sad in the morning time. This fair weather friend. They didn't see that this was the calm before the storm. And they did something in July, or July is significant. <clears throat> love is blind. Someone wants to love bomb you, keep you blind. 
to the fact um, that someone could truly be unemotional and a true psychopath, and they're going to lose their shit. Someone's losing their shit because they want you to be with them. Like, someone is losing their mind because another person wants to... This is the person that wants to team up with you, or someone's losing their mind because this person loves you so much they want to partner up with you and they can't stop thinking about you. <clears throat> they want you to blindly love them and forget what they did to you. Someone's in their worst nightmare because they realize they fucked up. And now they have one foot in the grave on top of it. So not only did they hurt you, they lost the... I, I feel like they feel like you're the love of their life now. But they didn't before. Now this person's losing their shit because they have one foot in the grave and they want to be with you. But they could have caught an incurable STD that, you know, you can't just live with. That has lifelong consequences or something here. So, alright, let's pull some letters. Alright, person, place, or thing. Letter A to be significant. G. E. So age. Age could be significant. Age could be a factor. Someone could be older in age. T. <clears throat> Someone was also targeted because of their age, I feel like. P. I. Someone is going to get tipped off about this person who could be older in age that's going to pass away. Why? E. Two more. R. Why again? So there could be a couple people asking themselves why something is about to happen or why something is going down. Could be two people that um, ended up with bad health reports. And I think this is a C, the broken one. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but I think this is a C. It's either a C or part of an O, but I think it looks more like a C. So, <clears throat> we have A-G-E, T-I-P, Y-Y-E-O-F-R-N-C. I hope this helps. Have a good day.